we will be learning about uh, sickle cell anemia first due to autosomal recessive gene pigment recessive gene of the web right so in our lab we have learned about rbc wbc and red platelets right so what is the normal shape of rbc it is by on k okay i'll just write here okay what is the normal shape it is by on k right so when you just look at the rbc so when it will be normal when the gene is normal then there is no any defect in the gene okay the gene that is responsible for producing hemoglobin if it is normal rbc structure and the shape also will be normal understood a okay if there is any defect what is the defect in the due mutation they are not what is mutation any change in the gene okay so if it is due to autosomal recessive recessive gene can you understand okay then the normal rbc will not be produced then the shape of the rbc will change then you call that to be what sickle cell so normal shape is like what you call the normal call the spherical right but here the shape of the rbc is changed to a sickle okay it is changed to a sickle cell well this is seen it due to the defective gene what is the gene now it is due to autosomal recessive gene Can you understand? So how can you represent? Normally, the gene that is responsible for producing hemoglobin, it is represented as hemoglobin Hb. Hb is normally mentioned as what? Hemoglobin is mentioned as Hb. That is just what. Okay. So uh, what about the alleles? We can use here Hb, Hb. Normal means it is A A. So if this is normal alley, normal gene, then what is the uh, what is that uh, produce? What type of hemoglobin is produced? It is normal hemoglobin. If we Person who is defective, defective, affected, sickle cell anemia, the type of disorder, sickle cell anemia. The person is totally affected. Okay, then you have to use the word S. S stands for sickle. Then it is H B S H B S. Then such type of patients, you call it as what? Sickle cell anemic patients. Can you understand? Or affected person, carrier. So if the person has normal hemoglobin, there is no defect, there is no deletion, nothing. In that case, the person will produce normal hemoglobin and the RBC will be normal. Structure and the shape of the RBC will be normal, right? But in case if the person is affected, okay, in this case, sickle cell anemic patients, then what will happen? Only hemoglobin, what is the function of hemoglobin? It carries oxygen and carbon dioxide, isn't it? Okay, if the hemoglobin is not normal, it will not be able to carry the oxygen and carbon dioxide, transport of gases. So what will happen? There will be no free movement of blood. There will be obstruction in the free movement of blood. There will be obstruction in the blood vessels. So the person will die. The person will not be able to survive. Can you understand? It may be fatal also, right? But there is one more chance. The person, if the person is a carrier, what is a carrier? The gene for that sickle cell anemia will be present, but it will be lost for the next generation. Right. In that case, you use a term carrier. Can you report? A A means it will be normal. We have learned right. If it is A A, it is carrier. Only recessive diseases will see carrier. Then if it is A A, it is affected. The same way only. Okay, it can be represented with the with the help of this alleles also. Clear? Can you understand? So this autosomal link recessive, this type of character, or you can use about trait. We have learned the beginning trait. Okay, which can be transmitted from parents to the offspring, right? Then, when both the partners are carrying for the gene, can you understand? If both the partners are carrying, mother is a carrier, father is a carrier, so it will be transmitted. Here, you no need to worry about whether female or male. It is equal. Both the male and the female will be affected by this type of uh, what is that? Uh, autosomal recessive disorder. Okay, you have learned that our body produces enzymes and. What is that? All all these are made up of what proteins? So, if a particular protein has to be synthesized, okay, gene has to function properly. That is why I put it either the height or eye color or skin color or hair color or whether it is long or whether it is short or whether it is curly hair, whether it is straight. All those characters are responsible only by the genes. That is why your genetic disorder is being transmitted from one person to the other person. Can you understand? So, for all these colors, protein is responsible. The protein has to be synthesized. The genes have to function properly. Ah, uh, see, you, you actually should have learned to learn standard about DNA. But I tell you, DNA has two strands. Okay, DNA has two strands. This is a basic I'm teaching you. 
but in detail we will not in the next chapter. Okay, only you understand this will be able to proceed things. Okay, right. So here it will be p prime to pi prime. The next prime will be pi prime to p prime. Can you understand? Okay, so this is the BMA strand. Okay, now we are going to worry only about one strand, p prime to pi prime. Forget about this. Okay, now this strand. What is involved in protein synthesis? So, what is that protein synthesis? From the DNA, the message will be copied to mRNA. RNA, you know, right? DNA will know deoxyribonucleic acid. That is, RNA is ribonucleic acid. The material, what is present inside the nucleus. Okay. So, the message from the DNA will be copied to the mRNA. This mRNA will be responsible for producing a protein to synthesize a protein. Can you understand? Okay, so this one is very important. You have to be clear with this concept. Okay, now I told you, I am talking about only one strand of DNA. This is called as a template strand. So the information that is present in the DNA, it is going to be copied to the mRNA. So what is that mRNA? Okay, how it will be copied? So when it is copied, the strand always mRNA strand will be 5 prime to 3 prime. I tell you what is that 3 prime. All those are called as polarity. We will be learning in the next chapter. Because in detail, I will teach you. Okay, just understand the concept alone, this one. Okay, so what is that? Adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. What are the nitrogenous bases? Nitrogenous bases, mutation I told you. Adenine, guanine are called as furin, thymine and cytosine are called as pyrimidines. So these are called as nitrogenous bases. So these information is only present on the DNA. Right? Now, when it is copied, you call this to be transcription. So the message is the information present in the DNA. It has to be copied to the mRNA. When it is copied to the mRNA, what is the difference between DNA and mRNA? See, RNA, you have three types. One is tRNA, we call it as transfer RNA. mRNA, we call that as messenger RNA. And rRNA, we call it as ribosomal RNA. There are three types of RNA. Okay, right? So, what is the difference between DNA and RNA? Yes. Here in DNA, adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine will be present. But in RNA, instead of this thymine, uracil will be present. The information that is present in DNA, it will be copied on to the RNA. Okay, so what is present in DNA? Adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. Then what is present in RNA? Instead of this adenine, uracil will be present. Instead of adenine, uracil will be present. This thymine will pair with adenine only. Okay, guanine here, it will pair with cytosine. Cytosine will pair with guanine. Okay, just opposite. See, adenine will pair with thymine. Guanine will pair with cytosine. Here you have two hydrogen bonds. Here you have three hydrogen bonds. I have told you about Chargoff law. Base pair group. A person called as Chargoff. Okay, he only proposes bases. How they will pair. Okay, so here, adenine pairs with uracil. Thymine wins adenine only will be there. Guanine, cytosine. Cytosine wins guanine. So this is the structure. I'll tell you just the basic understand. Next chapter we'll learn it. Okay. Now this will be the structure. Now what did I tell you in uh, mutation? When we learn about mutation, how it will be read? The codons will be read. So for this three, it will be read in the form of three three. Isn't it? That's what I. This three codons will go for. Uh, code for another amino acid. Here it will go for another amino acid. So like this it will go. Here one, here one, here one. It goes on. So all these amino acids join to form a protein. You call that to be polypeptide shape. What is poly? Many. What is peptide bonds? So each amino acid will be joined with the help of a bond. You call that to be peptide bond. Can you understand? So this chain is called as a polypeptide chain. What is it? What is the protein? Group of amino acids joined together forms a protein. Understood? Okay, now imagine. Just understand this. Now, now, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It goes on. Can you understand? So this is the peptide bond. Okay, so what are the amino acids that are linked? Here, first one, this diagram you have to let us look at the valine. Can you understand? Then uh, histidine. Then you have leucine, threonine, threonine, proline, glutamic acid, glutamic acid. If you have a textbook, you can just go through your textbook. Okay? So, here, see, I told you just now, I told you polypeptide chain. Three, three codons join to form an amino acid. Okay? Likewise, so three, three codons is form an amino acid. What are those amino acids? Valine. Short form VAL, valine. Histidyl, leucine, threonin, proline, glutamic acid, glutamic acid. So here, this these amino acids join together to form a protein that is called as hemoglobin. What is mean? Iron. What is globin? Protein. So here, this amino acid it is responsible for the production of normal hemoglobin. 
what did I tell you? Group of amino acids join together to form a protein. So, in a normal individual, if a normal gene is produced, then this group of amino acid body will form hemoglobin. We have two alpha chains, okay, and then you have two beta chains. This is the structure of the hemoglobin. Okay, now I tell you, here, this is the normal hemoglobin, what is produced. Now I give you the same structure in sickle cell anemic patient. See here, valine, histidine, uh, leucine, myolin, prolin, glutamic acid, glutamic acid. The same way. What is the difference between these two? There is a change in the sixth position of the beta globin chain. What I have drawn here is beta globin chain. Okay, now see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now you can see what is the change. Why there is a change? See here, in abnormal hemoglobin, this is the type of chain present in sickle cell anemic patient. Sickle cell anemic patient. Now what is the difference? See the difference here alone, sixth position alone. Here it is glutamic acid. Here it is valine. What is given there? Valine. Can you understand? You can see the chain. This amino acid, the whole chain, it is responsible for the action of normal hemoglobin. Here, the whole chain is responsible for the production of abnormal hemoglobin. Abnormal hemoglobin, that is why here it results in sickle cell anemia. Sixth position of the, listen to my statement, sixth position of the beta globin chain, okay, in abnormal sickle cell anemic patient, it is changed. Instead of glutamic acid, it is replaced by valine. How? It is due to mutation. It is due to mutation. Now I tell you, in DNA, in DNA, the normal gene that is helpful in producing glutamic acid is CTC. TT codons only join to form what? I mean, acid I told you. Okay. It is in DNA. Now come to mRNA. mRNA, what do you write? What did I tell you? Cytosine placement, adenine placement, thymine, cytosine placement, monine. So instead of seeing what you have to write here. Okay. So here also you have G. Instead of T, what you have to write? Thymine placement, adenine. Only here A comes, you have to mention it as U. But here if T comes, you have to mention it as A. Okay, right? Now, so this is a, right? Now what happens? This GAG, it is responsible for the production of glutamic acid. So here, normal hemoglobin is produced. Understood? Now what happens? I am going to explain what happens in sickle cell anemic patient. So these are the changes that are seen due to mutation. So what is the problem here? There is some change within the gene. What is that gene? See the same thing I am writing here. DNA. Instead of CTC, it is changed to CAC. Instead of T, what is changed here? Sudden change. So in the change in the, the C is changed to A. Due to what mutation? So what will happen in mRNA? Now read the base mRNA. Cytosine, guanine, guanine, cytosine, one. Instead of A, what will come? GUG codes for valine. It is mutated to A. When the information is copied to mRNA, so A is being transcribed to uracil. Okay, so this GUG will code only for valine. So that is why here the sequence is being changed. Okay, which is responsible for the production of abnormal hemoglobin. Thank you.